Hello everyone, in this video I'll be discussing the differences between KDE Neon and Kubuntu. Both are based on Ubuntu and both use the KDE desktop, but that's where the comparison ends. I have reviewed both distros before and there are links to those videos in the description. Firstly, let's look at the priorities of the two distributions. KDE Neon is based on the Ubuntu long-term support, LTS version, currently at version 16.04. They will not change unless necessary or until a new LTS version comes along. The KDE desktop and associated Qt applications will constantly get updated whenever new releases are complete. The primary focus of development is getting the latest stable KDE software to the users of KDE Neon. Kubuntu, on the other hand, moves along with the Ubuntu releases and you get a fixed version of KDE software that was available at time of release. Once released, there are no new features added to the KDE software, although you will receive security updates where appropriate. The primary focus of development is preparing the upcoming, every six months, Kubuntu version. I will mention that there is a backports repository which you can add to Kubuntu that will provide a newer version of the KDE desktop than the distro originally came with. It is normally limited to the LTS and currently supported interim release. Development does lag compared to KDE Neon. And based on what I have seen this past year, not every version of KDE software gets added to the Backports repository. In terms of system architecture, KDE Neon is 64-bit only. It comes in four flavors, Developer Edition, Docker Images, User Edition, and User LTS Edition. The developer edition is, as the name states, more for developers. You get pre-release KDE software, which really is on the bleeding edge, and is not guaranteed to be working. The user edition is more for the everyday user who wants the latest stable KDE software and desktop. User LTS edition is very similar to the user edition, but you are locked into the LTS desktop, currently at version 5.8. It is potentially more stable and you will receive security updates, although the associated Qt applications will continue to update. Docker images are provided for testing or development of KDE software without the need to reinstall your operating system or virtual machine. They are built on a daily basis on Docker Hub. In terms of system architecture, Kubuntu provide both 32 and 64 bit. It comes in three flavors, the latest interim release, currently at 16.10 at the time of recording, the current LTS release, and the previous LTS release. The main difference between them is the version of KDE Desktop and version of the base Ubuntu operating system. Kubuntu 14.04 still uses the older KDE 4 desktop, whereas Kubuntu 16.04 onwards uses the newer Plasma 5 desktop. Now let's check out the differences of what you're getting with each distro. On the left hand side we have KDE Neon, and on the right hand side we have Kubuntu. As you can see they both use the stock KDE desktop. I've done a more in-depth review of KDE desktop before, so I don't really want this to be a review video. The difference comes when you look at the applications. In KDE Neon there are only a few pre-installed, all you get is KWrite, Gwenview, Firefox, and VLC. Whereas Kubuntu comes with enough to provide you with a system you can pick up and use immediately. For example, you have LibreOffice, Firefox, as well as quite a few cute applications pre-installed. In terms of system usage, we can see that KDE Neon is considerably lower, although Kubuntu is settling down a little bit more now. One very useful feature you will see in Kubuntu is the driver installer. Yes, that feature is lacking in KDE Neon, so you need to build it up from scratch. A quick glance at the list shows this package KDE D5 using 9 meg of RAM on KDE Neon, whereas on uh, Kubuntu it's using 68 meg. Now that could be a difference between the version numbers of KDE. We have KDE Plasma 5.9.1 in KDE Neon, but it's only about 5.8, I do believe, in Kubuntu. 
This is Kubuntu 16.10. So let me check that out. Uh, oh, it's actually even older. It's KD Plasma 5.7. I certainly have lost track of time of when the versions changed. Let's take a side-by-side -side look at the settings on Plasma. There will be a few smaller differences purely because there are more features on the Plasma 5.9 desktop. Look, the scroll bars are slightly narrower on the Plasma 5.9 desktop. But there are a few items different under hardware. So device actions is missing. Device actions, digital camera, driver manager. Yeah, look, there's your difference. I've connected a digital camera into KD Neon. No problems, didn't need any additional settings on that. Although I was just downloading images from the memory card. Drive manager, yeah, I've mentioned that doesn't exist. KD Connect, well, that's in both systems. Oh, device actions as well. Uh, so manage actions available when a user connects new devices. Well, I'm sure I could find the package that that is and install it. So I would say if this is your first time using KDE, then go for Kubuntu. Whereas if you have used KDE before or are very familiar with Linux, KDE Neon might be more appealing. It is a nice treat to have such a minimal distro that is partially bleeding edge in Ubuntu. Under the hood, you do get a newer kernel and a newer assortment of packages with Kubuntu. However, it is possible to install a newer kernel and add third-party repositories to gain newer applications in KDE Neon. I have been running KDE Neon for over six months and not had any problems with updates and the stability of the operating system. If anything, it's become more stable as the development of KDE has progressed. So which is the best distro? It depends on your needs and experience. They are both good operating systems. The thing that has let me down with Kubuntu was the earlier versions of KDE Plasma 5.5 and 5.6 being so unstable. The issues have been solved now for me as of Plasma 5.7 onwards. So Kubuntu 16.04 with the backports repository would be perfectly fine. But right now I am staying with KDE Neon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all later.